How's it going on YouTube? Welcome back. It's been a long time since I posted a video, but today I'm going to go through some of the things that I carry in my pack at all times. Doesn't matter what's going on. So, let me actually, I forgot one right here, but I'm So, I'm going to start off with the very first, and this is going to be something that's kind of more of a homemade kind of thing, but I learned this in an Arctic survival course, and since then it always stays in my pack. And this is something that 550 cord on a lanyard, you got a duct tape lighter, and you got chapstick. Many of uses for each one of these. You have it on like a lanyard type to keep it nice and warm next to your body during cold climates, which during the Arctic survival course really helped out. And then on this, magnesium and the little ferro rod. So you can easily shave it off with any kind of knife and strike it very easily in time of need. And just see how easy this is to strike. Let's just grab this and pretty easy to strike. So that's my number one super lightweight but it will get me out of an emergency if need be. And I mean with that I don't even bring tinder or anything like that because I can gather it all right there where I'm camping at when I'm, when I'm in the back country. So that covers it. Doesn't matter how wet it gets, it still works. <clears throat> Next item I'm gonna move on to is since we're talking about knives and everything else, this is my Gerber LMF2. It is a little heavy, but I do carry this especially not really much on day hikes or day day hunts, but on over weekend hunts or week long hunts, something that I know I'm gonna need to be splitting some firewood or something like that I, or potential have a chance to get lost which will never happen carry this I have a whole review about it great knife go check it out um, more for my I carry in every type of hunt this always goes in my bag I am a trapper so I know the name Weeb any other trappers will know the name Weeb a great skinning kit you have your big knife with the gut hook you, you have your smaller knife, little serrated edges and everything else and then over here you have your bone saw and on this other side you have the more traditional flushing knife with the gut hook. Very, very highly recommended. I've used them for years, never had issues with weed. They'll always have my repeat business. But that's why I carry for my skin kit. It's all that I need. Moving on to some of the other stuff. Uh, I don't ever really see people put this in their videos or on their bag dumps or anything like this. I don't know if this is kind of a standard, but no one that I know uses these. But it's not just using them, it's just using the kind of product. And that is the rim oil gun wipes. If you're out on a backcountry hunt, and typically I'll even carry like a boar, a, a, a boar snake, but that gun, that firearm is going to be the whole sole purpose behind the hunt. If you don't have a firearm, you don't have an operational firearm, you're not going to be able to hunt. So I always carry a couple of these, per, pretty much one per every two days that I'm out there. And you know, in case the weather gets the inclement weather or anything like that, you definitely want to be able to wipe it off, keep it protected from the elements. So always carry a couple of these, they're super lightweight. You can buy a pack for like 50 for like $14. They're definitely worth it. Um, typically, I always carry one of these. I mean, I'll talk to everyone, you know, because this is for one to four people. This is, I do have a whole review on this. This is the Steelhead medical kit. They have probably about 15 different medical kits, but I never, I never go on a hunt without one. And haven't needed one in over five years, and hopefully I won't need one, but I'll invest in a good medical kit that has a lot of stuff in it. These are super lightweight. I mean, to the point of ultra lightweight, they're waterproof, very affordable, and they're built for sportsmen by sportsmen. But check them out. Very good price. Something that I carry. And I got this case. You can get anything. I mean, Pelican has a bunch of cases. Now, I use this one because I got one of the UST fire starting kits and to test out, see what it did. And it is a waterproof case. I will put my IDs, my uh, tags, anything else in there so it will keep it waterproof so in, in case I do get hit by the unexpected I always have this with my identification in it. 
you never have enough waterproofing. And then, when I'm speaking about waterproofing, like $10, I got some waterproof bags. I'll carry my clothes in there. I'll usually keep one for, you know, my, I usually take one out, put all my hiking stuff in it, my clothes and everything else. So then I have my dry bag and then I'll separate, take another one for my dirties because I don't want them stinking up my pack. So I can just have them in there and let it stink in there, not stink up my pack. Um, one of the big things I always carry, and right now we are in Colorado, small game. And then since I hunt military lands, I have to have my weapon registration on me at all times hunting. So I kind of make it a dual purpose and I will have the reg book with my registration and everything. And I'll usually take another uh, another uh, page protector, put it on the other side over top so you can still access it easily but for it to get wet it has to be like fully submerged in water for it to get wet. And so if I have any questions about anything while I'm out there, I can easily whip it out, turn straight to the page that's going on, and I know exactly what's going on right there. Something else that I'll typically put in these, because I don't trust myself, and I'll either, depending on how big the map is, I always take my maps. I have map markers, you know, so you can write on elimination, but I find that a ziplock or like a page protector works great. You can use your map, you can mark your line, you can mark exactly, you can mark the little interest spots, and you can move on from there. But it's a great waterproofing way, it's a great way to know exactly what you're looking at, the terrain, everything else, and a way that you can kind of not rely on GPS so much, or have a backups for when GPS fails. I'm big on having a backup on that end. Carrying this, not much weight at all, a whole bunch of resources, and you, it won't fail you. you. You don't have to worry about recharging it at, overnight. And then last but not least, because food is very important and water is very important, I don't ever go anywhere without my jet bowl. I have a great review on this. I even have how to pack it properly because I have all of the accessories that you can get for a jet bowl. How to pack it properly and still have plenty of room and I will put coffee down here. I'll put everything else because I like to have my French pressed coffee in the morning. I am a little bougie on that. But Jet Bull goes everywhere with me even if it's just a day hike or a day hunt. Uh, I like to have a hot lunch or a hot dinner before I even have to make a drive home. So definitely Jet Bull goes everywhere with me. Well, thank you for tuning in. Definitely keep following me. Um, and keep talking about some of the complications that come along with moving because moving from Alaska to Colorado, there's definitely a huge hiccup that I've learned and, and I had to relearn it again because I originally learned it moving from Texas to Virginia and to Tennessee and then now to Alaska and then now to Colorado. But definitely having to relearn all of it and I just find my next video will probably be about the complications and uh, just how tough it can be to be moving and try to stay an active hunter and an active outdoorsman. But thank you. If you want to see more content like this, if you want to see even better stuff, make sure you always punch that like button, comment your negative feedbacks or your good feedbacks, you know, whichever one will get a, a good conversation going, and ask questions. Appreciate it. Take it easy.